So I wanted to talk a little bit about the difference between the 9mm bolt and the AR-15 bolt and what I do as far as disassembly, cleaning, maintenance, that kind of thing. Uh, one of the things, big things you'll notice, this is a 223 bolt taken out of a 300 blackout upper. So most AR variants are going to have a very similar design to this. They're going to have the bolt carrier with the key attached and then the actual bolt here in the front and that bolt rotates as it goes in and out and that's how it actually locks up into the barrel extension. Now with the 9mm bolt you'll notice there is no bolt on the end. This is a one piece bolt and carrier. It isn't separate pieces like the majority of other AR designs. So what's different as far as disassembly and cleaning? Typically with an AR, a standard AR bolt what I like to do for cleaning is I at least take the bolt out, remove the firing pin, and that's how I clean it pretty much every time. Sometimes I'll actually take the extractor and or ejector out. That kind of depends on how long it's gone or how dirty it is in general, whether or not I'll do that. Um, the carrier key or I'm sorry, the gas key should be staked on there, so that's not something I generally remove. Uh, one thing you'll notice with the typical gas AR, the gas is actually entering into this gas key, entering into the chamber inside of the bolt carrier, and then that's what pushes the bolt forward and causes the movement of the bolt in the action. So typical AR-15, as long as it's not a... Uh, gas piston setup, you're going to notice that the bolt carry gets extremely dirty, very dirty. With the 9mm bolt, it's not the same. It uses the inertia from the recoil of that round. That round pushes the bolt back. So you don't have gas entering the same way. I find that my 9mm bolt doesn't get nearly as dirty as any of the other ARs I shoot in 223, 68, 450 Bushmaster, 300 Blackout. Um, those get very dirty compared to what happens with the 9mm. So the 9mm most of the time all I'm going to do is wipe it down. Now with the 9mm bolt you'll, you'll notice there is still a space here. There's basically just a block where the gas key normally goes. What that does is it still gives your your charging handle something to latch onto to pull back the bolt, but it doesn't have a the same function as in a normal carrier. Uh, if you look at it from underneath here, you'll see there's actually a weight that's pinned in. And this weight, because of that blowback action, that weight helps keep the 9mm bolt from moving quite as quickly. It's the same reason you typically use a heavier buffer as well, is for that extra weight. You have, this one is ramped to make it easier to push back the hammer. And you'll also notice the grooves on this 223 carrier are much smaller than on the 9mm, especially this one on this side. The 9mm grooves are actually milled larger so that they'll fit with the uh, feed ramps on the 9mm ARs as well as the ejector which is not a part of the bolt like it is with the 223 or most others it's a fixed ejector so you have to have room for the ejector in here. Uh, there is of course a firing pin and that is one of the few things that I will remove occasionally you remove it just like a 223, only this one you'll notice has a spring on it. So that spring helps hold that together, and the spring is what basically pulls it away and keeps it from striking the firing pins on the pistols. Um, I've never experienced it happen, but the pistols tend to have a little bit lighter primer cup, so the floating firing pin that an AR has could potentially cause a problem with pistol ammo. Now the extractor in the front 
does have is something that you can remove, but this is not something I typically mess with. Uh, if you'll notice there's a hole right here corresponding to a hole right in here. Kind of hard to see with the, the angle of the light. Um, but that hole is actually caddy cornered. It doesn't go straight up and down. It goes at an angle. So if you notice towards the top of the screen here, flip it over towards the top again. So that's actually at an angle. But if you really want to remove your extractor, that's how you do it with this pin right here. Although again, I generally don't find it's worth messing with that. Um, and then of course back here is the pin for the extra weight inside the carrier. Again, not something that I would typically mess with because you're not really going to need to clean around that. The only reason I could really see is if there was damage or if there was a problem with it. So that's the basic difference between the two styles of carriers. Uh, the nine, again, the 9mm is a bolt and carrier. It's a one piece instead of having a carrier and a bolt like you do with the 223. So if there's any other questions, let me know. But that's about as far as I would typically go. Uh, this bolt in a 9mm is going to stay much cleaner in my experience. So basically I'm comfortable with generally just wiping it down and oiling it when I clean the rifle. As always, thanks for watching.